I've been getting a lot of messages lately that it's really not Lou's fault um, regarding AMC. You know, they're like, look, it's Adam Aaron. He's the true enemy. He started a blah, blah, blah. That's the true enemy. It's not Lou. Let me tell you why I disagree with all of this. Let me tell you why. Lou has never told the truth. He has been presenting himself as a person who has tremendous Wall Street connections. I don't want to keep repeating this. I've said it so many times. Remember when he said, I got turned down. I turned down, Lou said. I turned down more money than any one of you would have ever turned down. In other words, a, a corrupt bank went to Lou and offered him more money than he was going to make on the AMC Boaz. He says, I turned it down. He said he had a witness that could verify it. He said, I would never go against retail. They offered, So in other words, they the impression that Lou gave is that they offered him many, many millions of dollars. Because, right, that's what he was predicting. At one point, he was going to make on the AMC Boaz. So in other words, according to Lou, this corrupt bank approached him. And people believe believe this story. They offered him multi, multi millions of dollars and he turned it down. He goes, I'll never go against my eight brothers, my eight sisters. I'll never go against retail. Lou, <laughs> it's like, this is what I'm trying to make you understand. He presents himself like he's, I don't even know, like he presents himself like he's Warren Buffett. That's how he presents himself. Like he can just walk away from $2 million or $3 million and say, bye-bye, I don't, I don't need it. He he made claims like he didn't even need his AMC Moaz money. He made claims like this. He says, I don't need the money the, regarding AMC. I don't need my AMC money. I'm giving it away to a special person. He goes, I always make money. I'm fine. Can't you read between the lines? Are, are you guys really this stupid with Lou? I mean, seriously. The reason why he doesn't need his AMC Moaz money is because he never had any AMC Moaz money because he never invested in AMC. He never invested in GTII. The real money that Lou is making comes from YouTube. It comes from YouTube ad revenue. So you, the whole thing with Lou is he's a storyteller. You, you ever go to a movie, and have you ever watched like a science like fiction movie or some, so, some sort of fiction? Okay. Lou creates stories. This is what he does. And his stories are very exciting and they're very interesting and stimulating to the brain, you know, and, and, and it excites a lot of people. They're like, my God, he turned down millions of dollars. My God, he bought GTII at 60 cents, went to $9, guy made a fortune. Lou Casa, he points to skyscrapers. That's my, that's where I live. I, I live in the penthouse, you know, so unfortunately, the uneducated and the inexperienced investors believe a guy like Lou. And, and, that, and that's what he did. That was his power. His power was to convince the uneducated. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. When I say uneducated, I mean, you're just not, you don't understand things that's going on in the world. Yeah, maybe you're young. You don't understand the stock market. You're inexperienced. And Lou is able to manipulate you and trick you. And it's okay. It's because you're young. Because you haven't lived life yet. You haven't experienced life. But someone like me, okay, I have experienced life. I understand things. And I've been around the block. And Lou can't trick me. And I am telling you, there is no question in my mind that Lou never invested in AMC. Lou never invested in, in anything. In GTII, Sundial, Clove, it's all talking points. He needs subject matter to make YouTube videos, in essence, to get YouTube views and subscriptions. That's where he's making his money. And he did make money. He did. He made money from YouTube. He paid off the restitution of the $73,000 that he robbed. And that's another from senior citizens. Uh, innocent senior citizens. Now, that's another thing. He claims he has 20 years of Wall Street experience, yet he needs to rob $73,000 from innocent senior citizens. Once again, something that doesn't make sense. But it's like none of you questioned it. None of you questioned Lou. You just keep listening blindly to whatever he says. I mean, I'm convinced at this point that Lou could say anything. Lou could say that he just bought Trump Tower. <laughs> he could say, listen, I, I, I contract. Donald Trump has moved to Mar-a-Lago. 
I just bought his penthouse. I am living in Donald Trump's, you know, very good. He, he, he convinced people that he was very good friends with Melania Trump, the, the former first lady, Donald Trump's wife, okay? So I'm convinced that Luke could say something like this. Luke could just say, listen, Donald Trump's living in Mar-a-Lago. I just purchased, you know, his penthouse on the 66th floor of Trump Tower. I that That's Luke Casa now. And I know that you're all laughing. There are people that will believe it. And I'm not talking about a small amount of people, a large amount of people. So it's just completely amazing how much this guy could just hustle, manipulate, and trick all of you. It's crazy. This video is not financial advice. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. This video is for entertainment purposes only.